Happy Valentine's Month, everybody. I'm the Sluggers Review, and I'm here today to share with you some of my favorite Valentine's Day episodes from TV shows or even movies. Um, not everything is all lovey-dovey. Sometimes Valentine's Days deal with heartache and everything. So some episodes will be romantic and lovey-dovey, while others will be very like sad and heart-wrenching and stuff but love is love it doesn't always come with like you know smiles and giggles and glee you know so i'm here today to talk to you about some girls season two episode one so this show came back out in 2013 and in the second season they have decided to up the ante in relationships and not only of that, but all of the girls have now changed their hairstyles for the remainder of the season. Viva has a shorter hair. Holly has more, uh, not Holly, but um, Amber has more poofy hair. Amber's wearing a, a different type of ponytail and more reddish type hair. And Zaz has now has like a long ponytail that hangs on the side. And so this is still picking back off of last season. And so with this season, Amber and Brandon are still broken up and so she decided she's not going to get back with him after doing it with him in the finale of season one. So they're on and off again and so she's trying to be strong and everything. So basically with this is that when the girls are all walking to school, Viva sees Rocky and doesn't want to be seen by him. And it's weird because they now they're boyfriend and girlfriend. But Viva explains that he's moving too fast. Um, he's talking about the long run, the future and everything. When he talks to her, he, ta he calls her Mrs. Rocky, like they're married and stuff. She does not like the idea of them rushing into anything because they just did it like last season after only knowing each other for like a few days or a few weeks because, you know, school passes differently in time than it does in the actual show. And so when they're talking, she's kind of trying her best to avoid him, but he's bringing her back in to where they're going to make out in like the storage room only to find a dead body. <laughs> so they have like a, um, a type of like pep rally type thing. Well, not really a pep rally, but like a, a meeting in the school. And Miss Hitchcock is there and she's being her hilarious self, her insulting hilarious self to this dead man and stuff and talking about they've hired a school counselor to talk to the kids in case they need to talk about what they saw with a dead body. This school has never had a school counselor before. It's a middle slash high school. How do they not have that? Like, you know what I'm saying? And so they're all like, yeah, we ain't gonna see no counselor until they see what he looks like. He's this younger man that they find dreamy. Amber has, the, not Amber, but, um, well, yeah, Amber too, but Holly has the extreme hots for this dude to the point where she's seeing him every day talking about how she's distraught. And so then Amber starts to go see him. Now, for some reason in this season, Amber has a cast on her hand and doesn't explain why. And it's a pink cast. So in a way, she there, she's just like, you know, talking. Both of them are seeing this man every day. They're, they're putting on makeup. Um, they're well, they're making the outfits more revealing because they have the extreme hots for this dude And every time he's talking to them, he writes down in his book psycho mentally psycho crazy psycho Because <laughs> they're coming on so strongly to him and Holly is the one who literally tells him like she takes pictures of like his butt when he's bending over. She's talking about how she wants him and she wants to make out with him. And she's being very aggressive with him. It is freaking him out. And so Amber has like a huge list of all her problems. And because he wants her to explain what's her problem. But she goes back to when she was a kid and tells a story of when like her, she was on, on the, um, the gym set or whatever, or no, the park. And she's playing around and all of a sudden a girl comes in with scissors and cuts the butterflies off her shoes and glues them onto her shoes. Who is this girl? Zaz. <laughs> 
And Zaz did that to her when they didn't even really know each other. And Amber's all like, she's been pissed ever since because she stole her princess power by taking her butterflies off her shoes. So he's all like, well, you should confront her about this. So she does. And Zaz is kind of like, what the world are you talking about? She's like, what? That happened when we were like five years old and everything. And then she calls Zaz weird, which pisses Zaz off. So... They kind of do like a shutout of Zaz, a little bit, a, a tiny one, or at least Amber does. Amber doesn't want nothing to do with her no more. And so Zaz, she goes and talks to like the counselor dude. Woo, she ain't happy. You know how pissed off she gets. And he literally writes down the book, Major Psycho and everything. And she's all like, um, so then he talks to her about the whole Amber situation, how Amber is like upset and blah, 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 blah. And she thinks he's an idiot and she starts kind of like messing with his stuff. And, um, she explains to him, or she explains to him, or he gets her to, to, to open up and everything. And she decides she's going to do that and open up to the girls. So he helped her in some kind of way. So she's finally going to explain why she did what she did back in the day. She is weird. She hates being called weird by people. Even like it was funny when she says that, like some like it, like people are always like calling her that, right? And she says that like because she's so smart and this and that. She's just weird for some reason, but she hates being called that. And so sometimes she will purposely do weird stuff um, just to kind of like egg people on and stuff like that. And she doesn't understand really why she's weird sometimes, but she's just weird. But she just hates being called that because people hurt her feelings and stuff. And so, but she doesn't want to apologize for like cutting off the um, butterflies and taking away princess powers and stuff. And so Amber's just not, not hearing it, right? And so at some point, the girls go back to the counselor and he has now gone. <laughs> he left because mostly he's creeped out by Amber and Holly and also the school just didn't want to keep paying for him. And so, um, if you're wondering why is this necessarily like a Valentine's video? Well, of course, because the two girls are like madly in love with the counselor. Brandon's still in love with Amber. And now we get to Viva. She has decided she's going to talk to Rocky and tell him, look, we need to break up. You're moving too fast. Now you're talking about marriage and everything. He's all like, well, I'm sad, but I'm not going to cry about it. But she's crying because she's upset. He tells her, like, oh, man, don't cry and everything. But then she starts to bring up some more stuff that gets him a little upset. And all she had to do was just, like, talk to him. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I get what she's coming from. Like, some people just do move too fast. Why? Some people just love the idea of being in love. You know what I'm saying? Some people love the idea of being with somebody else. And some people come off very creepy by coming on too fast. But it's not like they try to. It's just that they have more empathy in their heart than most other people who are, like, reserved and, like, cold-hearted and stuff. And so... And that's one thing about, like, and this, it goes by when male or female, it's just some people are more lovey-dovey than others. Some people just feel like the need to be happy is to be with somebody else. So he came on way too strongly. And she did not talk her feelings out with him, which was supposed to be the point of one in this episode, having a counselor talking your feelings out with somebody, but she never did that. And so she just decides, I'm just going to break up with you. And it breaks his heart to where he does something in this episode that really pisses her off. And she's upset because she doesn't want to break up with him because this is like really the only boyfriend she's ever had. She's never mentioned any other boyfriends and not only that, but she slept with this dude, you know. So her heart is tied to him, but she does. She just wants to move like slowly. And that's one interesting thing about this show. It takes your everyday tropes and, and stuff in life, especially in teen life, and they portray it and everything. And they portray it in both a hilarious way and a somewhat serious, not too overly serious because it's a comedy show. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, there is a side, like, part, like a B, well, I guess a C part of this, no, a D part of this episode. And that is Amber can't sing and she's part of the choir and Viva is part of the choir. And the principal, principal is the one who, like, is in charge of the choir. Like, this 
school has no money. They, they can't afford a counselor. The principal has to be the choir teacher. And he doesn't want Amber to sing. And so Holly, not Holly, but what's her face? Viva is supposed to tell Amber, like, look, man, he doesn't want you, this and that. But she can't do it, especially not after finding out what Brandon did to her sister and wants to do to her mom. And so when they're at this kind of like school memorial type thing for the dude who passed, Viva is supposed to start singing and she starts to sing, but she's looking at Rocky being all sad. He's just been dumped and she can't do it. So Amber is going to decide she's going to sing. Oh, something hilarious comes up after this. So anyways, um, trying to think because there is something. I feel like I'm leaving something. Oh, so then Zaz, um, Amber has kind of decided she's going to talk to Zaz again. But as they're walking to the hall to Amber's locker, Amber is ecstatic because Zaz has decided, you know, um, she's gonna make it up to amber she doesn't understand what's the deal with this whole princess powers and butterflies because she even teases amber talking about oh i guess i'm so good because i got your princess powers and stuff so she decides she's gonna deck out amber's locker it's all pink there are butterflies glued to it, or fake butterflies and all kind of like glittery stuff and amber is so ecstatic she gets to be like a girly princess and everything with her locker and stuff and she is so thrilled. She's hugging and kissing the crap out of Zaz. And, Cause Zaz doesn't really apologize, but she kind of does and kind of doesn't. And so Zaz doesn't get what's the point of this whole butterfly princess power thing, but it makes Amber happy. And that's all she wants to do. She wants to make her friends happy. And then it ends and stuff. And you know, that's kind of cool what Zaz did. Like it was kind of weird and screwed up that she did what she did when she was five, but then she made up for it many years later uh, about 11 years later or so 11 or 12 because i forget how old they are in this show and so and like i said the next episode ooh, it's a doozy of an episode <laughs> now wasn't that romantic or depressing depending on what kind of video i just talked about <laughs> okay well happy valentine's day everybody and bye